Good morning. Let me read to you today from Proverbs, just one verse, verse 25 out of chapter 10. It says, when the storms of life come, the wicked are whirled away, but the godly have a lasting foundation. I have a couple of people who are on my mind this morning. People, families that are caught in the midst of the storm. And the Tennell family's on my mind this morning. Harold, the dad, has rapidly advancing ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, it's a difficult thing for the family to deal with and work through right now. And Joyce, the wife, she's had to be hospitalized in the last week because um, she had issues with her gallbladder, had to have that removed, and then had a blockage in the bile duct that had to be repaired. So they've been dealing with a lot. Um, the Linton family, Miles Linton has been in declining health for quite a while. His wife, Frances, she's our former administrative assistant at Newbridge. Um, she's been caring for him. His daughter-in-law, Angela, is our current administrative assistant. And um, I know that Miles' passing is not unexpected, but it's still not easy to say goodbye. The Phillips family's on my mind this morning. Uh, I'm concerned about what happens with Phyllis now that Richard is gone. Uh, Richard passed away a week and a half ago. We had his memorial service yesterday. You know, after sharing 60 years together, you don't just move on. Um, Complicating the size of, or complicating things is the size of Phyllis's family. They have a very small family. And um, the only family member nearby is their granddaughter, Logan. Uh, and Phyllis has a wonderful church family. Hopefully, we can pick up the slack, but it's concerning. And the Bryant family is on my mind. <clears throat> Beverly was part of our ministry team at Tucker Swamp. And she and her husband, Jerry, are very dear friends, uh, Anne and me, and our girls. Um, Jerry had a massive stroke early yesterday morning that caused significant brain damage. Things don't look good right now, and it will literally take a miracle for him to recover. And the one thing that ties all of these families together <clears throat> is that they all know the Lord. The storms of life have come but each of them have the strong foundation, Jesus. It will be difficult, even painful, but I know that they will all weather the storm. And I'm praying for them today and I ask you to be too. Bow with me. Lord, I pray for the tenants that you would carry them through this difficult place that they are going through now. But I know that they all know you. Harold, Joyce, the kids. And I trust, Lord, that you're going to carry them through. Pray for the Linton family. Um, Miles passing away is, is not an un unexpected thing. But we know that it's still going to be difficult to let go. We pray for the Phillips family. Pray for Phyllis in particular. Just ask, Lord, that you would help her, having laid to rest the love of her life. 
And I pray for the Bryant family. I pray for Jerry. I do ask for a miracle. I do ask that he would get some time with his family where he can be lucid and share with them. Share with Michael and Patrick and Beverly. But Lord, I'm confident that with each of these families, they will weather the storm. Even if it means that you call a loved one home, they will weather the storm because they have a strong foundation and that foundation is you. So Lord, I pray for your blessing on them today. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. I hope that God blesses you today.